Welcome, it's the Rundown, August 1st, presented by Curve. Take control of your finances, manage them all in one place, no matter whether it's in dollars or crypto, and earn extra rewards on top of all that with Curve. Curve combines your entire wallet into a single card, and this Curve credit card plus the app will change your life forever. Curve lets you earn cash back on your Curve card plus your current credit or debit cards. Accidentally order some late night bites on your corporate card. You both have corporate cards, right? Totally. Uh, use Curve's go back in time feature and switch around your payment using Curve. Going back in time, that's, that's something crazy. everyone wants to do. Yeah, I yeah. mean, that's all. That's a crazy feature. Calling it that, I don't know what it does, but going back in time, hell yeah. You want, a power, you want the power to optimize your rewards on your own terms? Use Curve's smart rules feature. Go to curve.com slash barstool to sign up today. Terms and conditions do apply. That's curve.com slash barstool. Mm. Get your finances in order. You seem like you're very responsible with finances, Clemmer. Uh, I try to be. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I don't know. I know, but I'm selling my house. So I don't know how responsible I'm being now. Right now it's you're a, selling your you house? You want to sell yeah, your house right now, yeah, right? I was in New Hampshire oh, true. now. I'm, true, well, I guess that is true. I guess it's a double-edged sword, because you sell your house for a lot of money right now. Ideally. But then you got to go buy another house. Right. Right. Or, or rent for a while. Or rent for a while, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. might be the so move. I, yeah, I don't know if I, typically I like to think of myself as financially responsible, but right now I think everything's up in the air. How much money do you have in the bank? Uh, <laughs> don't <laughs> answer that question. Hundreds and hundreds Pull of dollars. Pull up your bank account right now and list out the numbers. Yeah, all right, well, <laughs> How much money? You, Nate, you're an OG Barstool person. How, How much, much money do you, you have? Yeah, you're yeah. significantly more than I do. Uh, whoa, what? No. Oh, equity. Significantly. I don't have equity. Oh, uh, come on now. I tried. I am, but. Are you a millionaire? No, not yet. Oh, close. I was hoping by this year that I would be, but I actually have less money now this at this time than I did at this time last year. Right. Some bad investments. Uh, right. Some Bitcoin. Hey, don't don't yeah. blame yourself. Blame Biden. <laughs> Sleepy <laughs> Joe. Yo, Sleepy Joe. Up. Sleepy My bank Joe. My account's going the wrong way. Yeah, it's tough. So you are a millionaire, because the cra the the host of Cracking Aces is a, is a millionaire. Yeah, I I like that narrative. It's just it, it's unfortunately not true. But one day it you will. Can dream be. It, well, you can dream it. Well, I I hope it might just be I might just need an inheritance. But Sounds like that he's would... homeless. He's like he's going the wrong way. Like, yeah. He said this yeah. Yeah. Lesson, if you keep going that pattern, you're going to be destitute you poor? very soon. Are you poor? I'm not poor. But I'm not wealthy. Yeah. I'm somewhere in between. Right. I've, yeah. I'm I'm Sounds I'm like things are going badly. I just yeah. I put a lot of my net worth into the stock market, and then the stock market this year has gone upside weird. down. So, uh, thank you. I've been seeing that. So, it was bugging me. No, but I gotta look at you. I don't want to look at fuzzies on your hood. We'll bounce no. back. I was yeah. Looking at I use fun. Curve. I invest. So everything will work out. Thank you, Clemmer. Well, if you'd like to make a million dollars the easy way. You can move to Massachusetts and start sports betting because sports <laughs> gambling go. is now live in Massachusetts through the Barstool app. That's not That's true at all. It, the, the bill got passed. It's right. not the bill was Oh, yeah. fuck. Yeah. Okay, all right. Passed. It is getting fast tracked, though. They say it could be ready before the start of football season, which is wild. Oh, I mean, wouldn't that, that be Yeah, that's, that's not much time. Yeah, just passed last night about 5 a.m. Uh, uh, home. I, I saw Dave tweet out the, the Milton office, and I thought, I thought it was... Good to go. Yeah. Well, I mean, it did get approved. Uh, the governor Baker will sign the bill uh, probably within the next week, and then I said they will have the fast track. They hope by September seventh, which is wild. It's That's a only a couple weeks. Uh, so Dave was talking about a Milton office opening back up, a Boston office. Would you have worked at the, Bo the Boston office? Because you lived in I lived New Hampshire, Hampshire closer. In New Hampshire. I was about an hour from Boston where yeah. my house is now. Yeah, like so. what if you get the option right now in three weeks? Like, are you gonna should, should we hold off on the house? I don't know, yeah, this is all, all very, very fast. <laughs> I don't know, I, I, uh, my, whole, my family. You should call him right now. You have I should, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, Dave, <laughs> what, what should I do about my house? Yeah. 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 My family, wife's family, all from, uh, all are in that area. So, I mean, it would, would make sense for me to stay there, but I'm also kind of excited about New York or Miami or the hell I end up, so. Miami? Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on. Miami man. I don't know. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, okay. Nobody says Miami like this. Yeah, yes. that's yes. facts. That's exactly what I was what, thinking. If you moved to Miami, would you update the wardrobe? Would you have to Great question. get well, a bunch of like... What kind of style would you have in Miami? I mean, I think you'd have to have a mix of, you know, my traditional yeah. and then, you know, sure. uh, you know, sad slacker Gen X 40-year-old uh, man sure. and then have that Miami style. Sure. Yeah, we, we don't want people being like, wow, Clemmer changed when he went to Miami. Right. You know what I mean? They don't right. want, you want the same guy. Right, of course. Would you go, yeah. would you go like hands on my knees... Shaking ass on my thought shit kind of I'm outfits, sorry, what or would you go like old people? Stuff? I because I, I, I don't know the first thing is I would go the old people. Old people, yes. Okay, okay. Can you repeat the first thing for him? Hands on my knees, shaking ass on my thought shit. That's a, that's a 
Meg the Stallion. Oh, okay. Yes, I'll go the old person route. It's yes. just a popular, yeah, yeah. Yes. Just slutty close is basically. Okay. What I'm yeah. Well, yeah. 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 I, yeah. I mean, I think. I think that like time. Like neon tanks. Like maybe nipples out. Mesh oh no, maybe, in that case, like no, totally mesh, mesh, mesh tank sure. tops. Mesh. I, uh, I thought mesh pants. You can do that as well. Yeah, I think. Sure. Yeah. You know Brian from the Backstreet. Okay. Was it Brian? Who's the AJ? AJ. The really troubled one. He always, yeah. yeah, he always had like mesh tank tops with his like yeah, nipples. Yeah, he was great. Pierce. He was so weird. He is great. He's currently great. He was just on a, a friend of mine's podcast. He's fantastic. Love him. Miss him. Yeah. AJ. Is he still the goatee? Uh, yes, but it's it's more it's updated. A little, updated a little salt and pepper, hair. a little gray. Yeah. He's updated facial hair. He's he's hot still. He was always kind of hot. He was a bad boy, and he's still hot. So good for yeah, him. Yeah, I, I didn't think he was, I didn't think he was hot. I just I mean the the two. I liked Brian. Yeah, two main guys were the. Brian was my favorite. Nick, Nick and Brian. Nick was yeah. Nick was, Nick was cute, but he always just like looked so much younger than the other ones. So I liked Brian because I think he had a wife at the time, and I was like, he's a married man, like. He's not afraid of commitment, and I was 10 years old, and I thought that that's what I wanted. So, yeah, <laughs> I liked Brian. All right, well, it's barstool sports. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Russell is dead. Oh no! Passed away at age 88. It's a great segue, bitch. Wow, Thank rest you. in peace. Uh, I did see I did see a thousand photos of this man posted no, yesterday. Bill Russell, just... one of the greats. Uh, how many rings did he have? 11? 11 rings, yeah. 60s wow. legend. Two, two titles in college, won a gold medal. 21-0 in uh, games that count. Game 7s or Game 5s or the uh, you know, NCAA tournament. 21-0. You're a Celtics fan, correct? Yeah. A huge Celtics fan. Oh, okay. Fan. There yeah. you go. No, so what, is, what did Bill Russell mean to you growing well, I mean, up as a Celtics fan? I am old, but I'm not quite that old. Right. I mean, it was just, you know, I mean, he's the closest thing, you know, I mean, to Babe Ruth to baseball. I know some people might say Will Chamberlain to basketball. I think Bill Russell, I mean, 11 titles, wow. uh, two as a player coach, um, just an absolute monster in defense, um, just an incredible player. I, obviously, I never saw him play in, you know, in real time, but... Uh, 56. I would have never guessed that his career started at 56. You know what I mean? I, I thought know. he was just like the 60s. The 56. It's very early. That's so old. Like that's when that's when people are playing like in the NBA and then hanging drywall like the afternoons. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, how, but I'm more, like, you know, talking about that transition from kind of what it was maybe like the Bob Pettit days or like that, you know, very early 50s George Mike, and he was that bridge to the more modern type of NBA we see now. Mm. Um, so I mean, just a, uh, the most important person maybe in NBA history. Um, so, like, and also just a great guy off the court, did a lot for civil rights, and uh, mm -hmm. just a really impressive, iconic figure. Uh, cool. Yeah, amazing guy. I have a question. Did you post a picture of him on your story yesterday? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm starting to learn Instagram. I'm not great. Okay. Stories scare me. Uh, I'm starting to learn, but what I did. It's Instagram almost like. What about on Twitter? Yeah, yeah what about yeah, Twitter? Yeah, all right, yeah, all right, all right. Okay. So you, so you really cared. You, you do genuinely care. That's I do, yes. The only way to show that you care is by doing one of those two things. That's probably about right. Yeah. Yes. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah, there, there is my Twitter right now, but yeah, I said, I said, all no right. one won more than, because uh, he was just the most consistent winner of all time. He has, you know, amazing amount of titles. Now. Wow. Yeah. Well, yeah, R.I.P. That's sad. And he was—he was—he was a living legend. I feel like everyone in the league looked up to him. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? He was yeah. always there and kind of mentoring uh, people in the league. So yeah, it's, that's nice. It's, it's one of the people that uh, I forget who. Uh, Norm McDonald. When Norm McDonald passed away, you were just kind of scrolling Twitter uh. and everything. Every video, you're like, oh man, that was so. What a great moment. He's so great. Uh, kind of that way with Bill Russell. Whenever you're kind of scrolling and you're seeing all the clips that he was on and all the athletes that he interacted with. Yeah, 88. Yeah, that's, that's wild. That's um, all right. Speaking of not so uh, illustrious, iconic athletes, Deshaun Watson. Mm. Uh, he's got a six-game suspension from the league. A lot of people are saying that it's not enough. I'd say that seems five. Uh, well, the, the grand what is it? The grand jury, five women testified. They blah blah. From that, they got six games. There's 33 women total that have come forward, I believe, mm -hmm. but five women have testified. And Deshaun Watson got six games. It won't really touch his money because he's his contract. He's getting like a million dollars. I think I think someone so he gets paid vacation. Someone blogged it, and it's like it's touching like 0.14 percent of his money. So he's gonna make 230 million dollars. And he's losing 330. The intention took a low salary this year because he knew he'd get suspended, so yes. he backloaded all of it to the to the other years. That's, which that's which that's is just dope. not. I mean, that's smart for him to do, but right. it's like what a smart for him to do in anticipation of the scandal. Move. Yeah, like oh, I'm gonna get in trouble for rape allegations. Yeah. I better, uh, better backload back my contract yeah. so I don't get fucked over. Wow. Which, yeah, I hate I this mean, guy more and more. You yeah. guys talk. Now Holy there's shit. a chance it might be a longer suspension than six games. Now Goodell is the one. You know, he could in theory step in and um, appeal. 
Yeah, uh, Goodell's judge, in jury, and commission, or judge, jury, and executioner, and whatever he says goes. Um, so whatever, whatever, Desha whatever Deshaun Watson yes. gets as a punishment, when it inevitably is never good enough, I'll be able to blame Roger Goodell solely. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless, sure, yeah. I'll take that. Turn sure. it off. Um, I'll start wearing the fire Goodell shit. Oh yeah, yeah. I have a reason for that. I don't like this Cotton story. Goodell I've been hearing about the story. I heard you guys talk about it a little bit. I did a little Google real quick. It sounds pretty fucked up. I'll be uh, honest. Yeah, yeah. Six games sounds actually dumb. Like that sounds. Yeah, they've been comparing. Like, is this for real? I there, don't know. There was a uh, who was it? Ridley got in trouble last year for gambling, and they suspended him for an entire entire season. Entire season. He got in trouble. There's for, 30 bitches running around being like, "Hey, this man's a, an asshole, creep, low-key so, rapist." Yeah, Deshaun and Watson. Gonna say anything about there, it? There's like six games. They don't have like the evidence of it. It's just kind of a he said, she said. But and some of them have settled out of court, so they yeah, part of right. that was they signed NDAs and things like that. So um, right, got, right, right, right. I think they said he There's had a like, lot of smoke, though. You know? He had like 66 sounds... women come through. That he was like, it's very predatory, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, for oh, yeah. sure. It, yeah, it's, it's very, something's going on. It's, it's very sketchy. Uh, sounds like he's a fucking creep. Part, part of the statement from the judge is he's no longer allowed to get his own massage therapist. He has to use a team supplied massage therapist. Why are we bending over backwards yeah. for this this bullshit? Like, I don't, I really don't understand that at all. Whatever, don't get me started because I'm actually pissed. He's, <laughs> this he's is a professional athlete. He's very good athlete. at football. Yeah. You're forgetting that he can throw a football really yeah, far. Yeah, right. Yeah. If, he really throw, if he can throw a football really far, then like, fuck <laughs> this. You know what I mean? Uh, fuck, yes. fuck everything that everybody has ever you, said as a woman. Fuck that. Do you know that. how to pick up the egg at blitz? Fucking yeah, football. Yeah. Do you know how to read the egg at blitz? No, I don't. So my opinion doesn't count, I guess. Yeah. So you won't be making $230 million. Love that shit. Minus point one, what point one four percent? That's right. And wow, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt is, him. His entire contract is entirely guaranteed, fully guaranteed. Yeah, they need to get hurt. And they can't cut him. And, and, he, him and he, or, it's it's the fact that he orchestrated it that exact way. His new contract. Yeah, they said. Yeah, what a this. fucking asshole! Was, what are we talking about here? I mean, he was in hot water. What is going on? He was in hot water. What is going on? Because he's really good at football. Yeah, he can throw a ball really far. Are we? Like this has been going on for a couple seasons. These allegations. Yeah, yeah, we're on year two of this. And then they score touchdowns, Kelly, you know? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna pass out. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, you'll pass out. When Other you people can't throw a football? Yeah. He's the only one that can throw a fucking football? Uh, well, with Baker Mayfield, but. Well, he's now in Carolina. They yeah. have Jacoby Percet started. What do you think All about right, Jacoby? How is he gonna do? Well, how would you feel? Okay. The first how would six you games. feel? Okay. Okay. Say you're a big, a, a big scumbag. Okay. He's not that great. <laughs> okay. And they replace you. Yeah. On the team yeah. with a bigger scumbag who's potentially a rapist. Okay. How does that make you feel? That probably makes me feel like I could have gotten away with a lot more, and I should have. That's an interesting way to think about it. But they shipped you to Carolina. Cleveland. Oh, but I didn't no, lose no, no, my no, no, job? No. I didn't lose my job, Baker though? Oh, I didn't get fired? No, you just, you're just working at a new place now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bro, Bro, I don't know, man. You should have been a quarterback. Football's disgusting. <laughs> Sorry, I know we're at a sports company, but I think that I hate it. <laughs> it is I think I hate sports. football. Yeah, so I think I hate football. I think I hate sports now. But like I said, if I can blame Roger Goodell, I'll just go off on Roger Goodell. Like, man, it's so fucking ugly. I would love to go in on him for something other than just yeah, he, his looks. Yeah, he's, he's uh, the definition of a lap dog. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Roger Goodell. For I also say, too, there's bad people no matter what industry bitch. you're in. There are evil, oh, no, bad yeah. people. But this is, not, is this not the dumbest reason? Like, well, he's really good at football. Like, that's pretty fucking stupid. Like, uh, actually. Worse reasons. Well, like, I guess it all like, comes hey, down to like, they, like people make money on it. People want to people gamble on him. People want to make money and do whatever. But you it's get like, that though, right? There's like eight good quarterbacks in the world. I like, get that. Though, anybody right? can be a doctor. Yeah. But like to be right. a quarterback. Exactly. Anybody can be a doctor, yeah. but it's really hard to be a quarterback. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Sister. I should actually be a little more. I don't know. I should be a little better about open these guys. I should feel bad for them. They've got this burden on their shoulders. Well, now he has to work at his own it's hard. Yeah. So that I know. That's what I'm saying. Out. Like, like he just, he's got to worry just, about that too. No, he has to do that at the facility. Man. The team doctor. Right? Maybe it makes it easier for him. Can't believe he's being treated. Maybe this will help. I can't believe how he's being treated. Wow, guys. Well, keep me keep me posted on every single detail of this because it just sounds like it's going to be worse and worse for this man. Or they're just like, yeah, you can't. Yeah, just dudes, dude masseuses. Go fuck. You'd retire. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Maybe he's a sex addict or something. It's like, whatever. There's something wrong. Yes. He's the victim. Yeah. Deshaun Watson's the right. victim. Right. He's the victim. Good call. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. That's a hot take. He That's should feel bad yes. for him. That's a take. He's a sex addict and he can't control his dick, so it's like, oh, you know, let's feel bad. Okay, I can't with this. I'm All right. pissed off. The second half of this rundown <laughs> is sponsored by BioLite. God damn, I love me some BioLite. The IV in a bottle is the world's first recovery drink to contain the same amount of electrolytes. <laughs> as an IV bag. 
<laughs> so if you're fatigued, sick, dehydrated, or recovering from a long night out, BioLite offers a solution that is more healthy and hydrating than the average sports drink. Just drink a full cold bottle of BioLite and your body will re-amp, re-app, reap, reap, reap. Reap, reap the same benefits as... <laughs> I was like, what are you looking yeah, at? Reap. IV rehydration therapy in just 30 minutes or less. You'd have to drink six and a half sports drinks equal to one BioLite. Plus, it's made of all natural ingredients, so it's healthy. And it's only 45 calories. It comes in four flavors. Citrus, berry, tropical, and melon. Wouldn't mind the melon. And it actually tastes great, unlike most recovery drinks out there. BioLite is now available to purchase directly from drinkbiolite.com. Go to drinkbiolite.com slash barstool and use code barstool for 10% off your first order. Reamp today. Reamp. Re get, get fucking reamp, bro. Reamp. Uh, an athlete that stays hydrated and is definitely out there drinking BioLite, Tom Brady. Mm. Stephen Che was in a press conference with Tom Brady and hit him with the Giovanni Bernard. Giovanni, Giovanni Bernard. Bernard. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. I was about to do it and I said no. I I have pride. Uh, I need to see. I he hit him with it twice. This. I haven't seen. And Tom this. Brady Fifth. loved it. A Giovanni Bernard. That's got to be a big position for us. So they got to they got to step in and do the job. It's a uh, our receivers get a lot of attention. So it gives opportunity for the tight end and running backs to make plays in the run game on the pass. Geo, Lenny. Tom, there's a lot of the fact yeah. you won't do it on the rundown and he did it to Tom yeah, Brady's face, crazy. I think that speaks just volumes for Shea. Like, that he, in the bright lights. Wait. No, 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 no. I, I'm not saying that I'm nervous to do it. I'm saying that it's just stupid and, and uh, only a loser would do it. No. <laughs> I need yes. to hear it. I need to hear it. But Shea makes it work. A Giovanni Bernard. His jaw, his, his jaw, like his, yeah. his cheekbones are on another planet. Like, <laughs> I mean, that's smile. fantastic. He's so handsome. He sounds like someone from Glorious Bastards. He's so Bastards tan. He's so handsome. Great. Uh, great cheekbones. Angelina Jolie is jealous somewhere of his cheekbones. Stephen Che. That's a that's a great clip. He looks like he's having a good time. I've been watching his stories and such since this morning. I was I was thinking if I had a week to think of something to say to Tom Brady and make him smile. Mm. I don't think I could do it. You don't think? I think I'd put too much pressure on myself and I'd, I'd fall right on my face. That makes sense. Stephen Che did it. That's little, true. Little That's Giovanni true. Bernard. Jim Gray makes Tom Brady smile when they do that weekly show. Tom, Tom Brady's always laughing when he's doing his weekly spots with Jim Gray. Yeah. I mean, maybe it's not that hard. I don't know. But he was definitely enjoying the Giovanni Bernard, though. Do you think Tom Brady fake laughs at people sometimes? Do you think he's a really good fake laugh? I don't laugher? think he's ever fake laughing. I don't think he's fake laughing he's at, real at Che right now. But I wonder if he fake laughs. Like he, I bet he's great at that. I don't think. I don't think he's fake laughing at Shay. No, I don't. Shay's a loser for. I think that's like who Stephen Shay is. The G, I, I mean, the, just the, G, the, the the doing the Giovanni Bernard is just. No, I would. I'm not. That's what makes. Why would Shea, I? It's not, not my thing. It's not my, if I was a, if I was a Bucks fan, I'd do it all the time. Okay. But I'm not. So I think it's stupid. Would you? Do you guys feel this way sometimes? I think about inevitably meeting a celebrity that I'm in love with, Taylor okay. Swift, namely. Okay. Uh, I like think about, oh my God, what would I say? What would I do? Blah, 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 whatever. I think I would have a really hard time meeting someone super famous that I like also want to be friends with because I'd want them to think I was cool. So I could never, I would never like ask for a photo. I would always just like be kind of polite and like act like I don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. And I would regret it obviously because I'd want the photo and whatever. But in my head, I'm like, you know what? Like if I act cool, they're going to remember that and they're going to be like, wow, Kelly was actually really cool. Um, I'm going to look her up on Instagram. Instagram, and then maybe we can all be best friends and we can hop in my private jet and fly around the fucking world. Do you guys ever feel that way about celebrities? Uh, I don't think about it that much, but like, <laughs> like if Jerry Seinfeld, if I met him, like, would he want to be my friend? I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I doubt it. Probably not. I'm guessing we're just in different tax brackets. Yeah. What would, you, what would yeah. you bring up if you talked to Jerry Seinfeld? Uh, well, I know you like cereal. Um, he likes sneakers. <laughs> so you're just gonna hit him quick with cereal, a, yeah, some cereal, cereal sneakers, the podcast, like references. Or the, or no, the, no, no, like the actual, like you know, like food pebbles and stuff. Yeah, breakfast cereal. So like cereal, uh, like some sneakers, or maybe, maybe try to throw in some like you know, like late '90s TV, like oh, boy, sure. that Carolina City really sucked, huh? Something like that. Some NBC humor to try to like you know ruffle him up a little bit. Do you think bit. he like would get sick of that? Like you think he? Well, you you know, just think he hears it all the time. I, I don't know. Do people making like suddenly Susan jokes to him a lot. I'm guessing probably not. I think that might well, be you a little bit You never know. Unique. I mean, you never know. That could be unique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. so. 
Do you think people just think he's perpetually stuck in the 90s because the show is a 90s sitcom? Well, I'm stuck in the 90s, so I would well, hope okay. so. That's okay. what I'm hoping for in our friendship. Okay, that's fair. Uh, that's fair. Quick, uh, blog plug. Clemmer just did a blog called Friends in ER, the 1994 TV Guide Fall Preview Issue. That's Love right, that. I did. I, did. <laughs> Love that. I broke down the 94 Fall Preview. Is that, that's that fantastic. Is that Clooney? Is that ER? Or is it that, is. It is, yeah. Is, yeah. And, and the Friends, that was Friends the, in they ER. debuted the same night. How about that? They oh, did? Yeah. What, a, what a night. Uh, right? Ooh, what a night. Look at that, huh? Yeah, Very cool. Yeah, I only know it's topical blogs for me, so. <laughs> of course, yeah, 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 yeah. Look at all this work that went into that. Wow, I love that. It's only part one, people, too. I'm going to have other. Uh, I love when people go ape shit about stuff they like on the yes. blog. Yes, and movie 98 of your top 100 came out on Friday. Yes, it did, yes. Uh, yeah, so I, uh, I covered um, Any Given Sunday. I oh, just, yeah, 98, yeah, yeah. Best movie of the 90s. Yeah, I just yeah. watched wow. that not too long ago. Yeah. Like, weeks ago. It's a pretty good. It holds up pretty well. Yeah, it's, it's really football, good. Though, and it shows, shows how maybe some football players are complicated. Right. Actually. So, yeah, so maybe I should, yeah, I don't know if I've seen that all that the way one. through. I might, yeah, <laughs> I, maybe it will bring me back onto the team of liking football again, but as of now, present day, I hate football and sports, so hmm. it's going to be tough to bring me back after all this. I'm excited for the trade deadline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, should we get into that? I was going to say, we can bring you back with Taylor Swift. <laughs> okay. Taylor Swift has been, you can probably explain this better than everyone else, Taylor Swift yeah. has been loaning out her private jet Yep. All the time and wasn't even. Ah, uh, I want me to just tell it. That's the, is that your headline? Yes. It's a long headline. Well, I wrote it early this morning and I was feeling bitchy. <laughs> okay. So, sorry. Number one. Number two. It's okay. Explain. I uh, so she um, she has a private jet. Everybody lately has been getting on the celebrities because of all the trips they're taking their private jets. Whatever. Blah blah blah. Kylie Jenner has been in the news for it all the time. The manifestos are public information, so you can like pull them out. Taylor Swift's carbon footprint is a thousand times. Can you just almost wait? two can thousand you just wait? times more than your average person? Wow, what a scumbag! Where's than Sean Watson? I hate pop music now. <laughs> yes, that's, your that's a fair comparison. <laughs> that's a fair comparison to hate, now hate pop music. But so um, she has this private plane, whatever. The list of like the top no most one. used planes came out, and hers is number one. But she doesn't use her plane all the time. There's like 170 plus flights that have been had since January until now, and like almost none of them are. But she been using her private flights. She for? lends it out to people. Well, it's like you know, a she, like people people because you know, she owns this jet an and she doesn't Clemente. need the jet all the time. So yeah, she's like, oh, out? because people like need Clemmer. jets. So she owns the jet and she rents it out as an investment. Yeah, why? Right. Because she's rich. She has, yeah, but she has so much money. Would you want anyone shitting in your fucking plane? No. Rich, rich people stay rich, man. Rich people. Yeah, make him. Yeah. I would. I would want you, no one in that but me. It's mine. Your money's got to be making more money. I mean, planes yeah. are expensive. You have to make that money back. And the fuel She's and Taylor Swift doesn't give a fuck about the plane. She's, she is. She's renting it out to people. I don't know exactly who she's renting it out to. I would like to see that list of people because yeah. I bet people it's just... People are doing stuff that plane. Be, you know they are. For sure. But she's rich enough. She can she get it like stripped Airbnb out. It's like in your plane. Yeah. She can get it stripped out every five minutes if she wants. You Wouldn't know what she I mean? want to fuck in Taylor Swift's plane? Be like, yeah, I fucked in Taylor Swift's private plane. <laughs> of course she yeah. would. Yeah. I, I would. Get, yes, I would love Taylor that. Swift, you don't want that. Right. That's what I'm saying. 100%. True, true, true. Damn, look, that's a Listen, crazy she, story. She, she, so T-Swift? she loves love. Mm. So she would be fine with people fucking in a private plane. I know that for a fact because we are <laughs> friends. Um, but yeah, so people are on her dick about it. I'm pretty sick of it. I feel like, how is it that... Taylor Swift is now in trouble for being on a private plane when there's like thousands of celebrities that take private planes all the fucking time. And just because she lent hers out to a couple of friends over the past six months, it makes it look like she's the worst of all. And now like <clears throat> all these people are just coming around and calling her a piece of shit and that she's fake because she's always talking about climate change. She's always talking about like saving the planet or whatever, which to be fair, she's honestly not. When's the last time Taylor oh, Swift has so ever fucking Leo said anything? Leo is number one. Leo is the guy. Oh, the president or prime minister of Brazil no, so ne did, like, never a talks about shit. huge tweet thread like killing Leo because really? all he does is travel around on private planes and, yeah. and yachts. Yacht. He's like, yeah. sell your yacht and then start talking about climate change, bro. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Leo didn't really respond. Yeah. But even that, like, I guess. Climate change. Yeah. Can someone explain to me like the carbon footprint? No. Like importance of like this past couple of years. Like, isn't global warming and climate change happening because of all the bullshit that happened over the past sixty years? Why are we concerned about the last five? Because I mean, we need to be the change we want to see in the world. Carbon footprint's been right. around for a while though. Like, That's what I'm saying. People have been tracking it. People for a while. been people have been going for a long time. I mean, it's been. I mean, people have been. We've been saying we gotta limit it there's for more, a while. There's more yeah. people now though, so I think it's getting quite a bit worse. Oh, it sounds like we need the purge. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, man, sister. Starting with Deshaun Watson. Yep. <laughs> anyway. Uh, 
Giovanni Bernard. Giovanni Bernard. Hey! hey. hey. See, you know, it's kind of fun. It's <laughs> kind of fun. Maybe that's why Stephen Jay does it. Yeah. But yeah. no, if, if, if Giovanni Bernard was on my team, I'd do it every day, but he's not, so I, I feel like I can't do it. Yeah. What team do you root for? Eh, in football, I guess the Colts, but All right. I don't really. Tom Brady. Like, I just like, uh, oh, I'd fuck Tom Brady, yeah. I just like uh, football. You just like wow. watching the boys play. I just like the boys. Yeah. I like the. Uh, I got like addicted to fantasy football for a while where I would just sit there and just watch the numbers go and I just liked that for a while and then I had to stop. And then Stephen Che and, and Mincy brought us back in. Thank you, Mincy. Thank you, mm-hmm. Mincy. King of the South. King of the uh, South. What do you guys think? Is Taylor Swift an asshole for her project? Yes, she's yeah, kind of. I mean, what, no. what a bitch. I'm more concerned she rents the plane. That to me, I, I, I don't I, understand. I, I, I think that's more common back. than you think. Yeah, I think most celebrities I, buy planes. Yeah. And I really then, like, think rent, it's more common. I'm sure you're right. I, yeah. I don't know this world, but I would not do that. Roberto Clemente. He filled his private plane with supplies and crashed and died delivering supplies. Trying to help people. Was Taylor Swift doing that? No. No. She might She's just trying to make a buck. Yeah. With an Airbnb plane thing. Yeah. I don't know what she was doing with it, but. I really don't know. I don't care. She's fine. Do whatever you want. If you're rich, go fly around on a plane. You can afford it. Yeah. Yes, yeah. you can. All right. <laughs> Saga, I, I don't have. Uh, Taylor Swift can do whatever she wants. Uh, no problem. Yes, she can. Uh. T- Soccer player tries to do too much with a penalty kick and misses horribly. I haven't seen this. Me either. Is that for real? Is that that's the whole thing? Yeah. Wow. He misses it that's he what I mean. It. He he but, after that whole big the yeah. whole big showboat bullshit. That was the headline. Wow. Yeah. The so one this time is, in a penalty kick, I'm actually rooting for the goalie. This is a this hate this guy so much. Yeah. Yeah. This is a small town, like a smaller soccer game. So this guy might have died for this. Like. I feel like the town wow. will kill you if it's a small enough thing. Yeah. It's like a local soccer thing. People are so crazy about soccer. Maybe I'll just start getting hardcore into soccer. Does the, what, are the, what does the announcer sound like when he does it? Is he like mm, yeah, devastated? Good, good question. I'm sure they don't commit any crimes, soccer athletes. I'm sure they're. Yeah, very definitely innocent. not. Definitely not. So I don't have to, don't have to worry about any. Ronald D. Of that. Ronald, what is it? Ronaldo. Ronaldo. He's, he's good, especially when he's, he's in great. Vegas. <laughs> Very embarrassing for all involved. Yeah. Like you said, that guy's got to, I mean, he has to change his identity, move out of town, right? Or maybe That's, just don't, don't play soccer. Punishment yeah. worse, worse than death is if you had to, like, maintain that field. Mm-hmm. That was his new yeah. job. Like, you're right. fired. Now you have job. to actually do the groundskeeping for yeah. the, the field. The field. Oh, yeah, God. yeah, yeah. Hey, that's a, that's a good punishment. He's good enough to kick for the Chicago Bears, right? Whoa! Partial <laughs> sports. All right, uh, last topic. An octopus <laughs> tries to eat a bald eagle. Oh, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to like this. I don't, yeah, like, I don't I, like animals getting hurt. I mean, that's, that's, that's like the cycle of life. This is I don't like, I don't like octopus like, is like a bald oh, eagle. It, it says graph. I don't like animals getting hurt. I don't like animals. Yeah. Yeah. It's no. graphic. I'll, I'll watch. Eats. I'll take your word for it's it, guys. It's just an octopus. Kind of got his tentacles around a bald eagle that's floating. I don't like that. You can't it see it. It looks any. like he's going to get rescued. Is he going to get rescued? They're trying. But you'd oh. be surprised at how good those octopuses yeah. can suck you. Oh, I don't like Yeah, that. that's pretty crazy. They'll suck you good. Oh, no. no. Oh, no. Well, it's only yeah, the octopus. You're losing now. the room here. So, where is oh. the eagle? Oh, no, it's free. Oh, it got, got away. Free. It got right, free. Right. <laughs> it's Hooray, great. It's great. Eagle. That octopus is a bright red. I've never seen an octopus a color like that. Scary. That's a scary Aww, thing. Poor Aww, poor eagle. Poor baby. That's not terrifying it is for that guy. Is this on our website? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, this I is really wild. Know. I mean, it's Billy football. Of Billy football. Yeah, I don't like that. He loves National Geographic. Like yeah, shit after like show. that. That's nature. It's crazy. Um, it is nature. This, I, I had that exact experience oh, this weekend. I don't know show. if you know about oh, it. Oh, oh okay. cheesesteak. Yeah, talk about this. They're first. out now. You can get cheese, regular cheesesteak, Chipotle cheesesteak, very good cheesesteak. The french fries, delicious. loaded french fries, Yep. and I don't know if they're in there, but brownie bites, and the brownie bites are very good. No, there's a lot of fries in here. Yeah, the, the, fries fries are, fries. the fries travel the well. The fries are next level. Like, yes, I, I walked good. by and I thought I was just going to grab one fry and keep going, and I had to get myself a whole plate of them because I was shocked by how delicious they were. You, you, you <laughs> passing, up, passing up fries and, and cheese sticks? No way. Yeah, not Never. a chance. What is not it, over 200 cities? Is that, what it is? is that right? Over yeah, it's sure. 200 yep. cities, part of my cheese steak. Uh, you can get it on Grubhub. Mm-hmm. I believe. Mm-hmm. DoorDash. DoorDash. Seamless. 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 Postmates. Yep. Postmates. Postmates. Oh, all the hits. All the hits. Or pardonmycheesesteak.com. Oh my God. Com is where I get it. I'm a, I'm a, You're a loyalist to the loyalist website. Loyalist to the website. That makes sense. I love typing sense. in a good dot com website. Cool. When the dot com bubble hit, did you think you were going to strike it big? Did you, were you putting money in the I was in college. I, was, I, I, I just missed it. But I remember like, I go to Red Sox games and you hear like, guys a couple of years older than me talking about it. 
Like, and uh, yeah. Well, I, I feel like when you're in college, it's the perfect time to be in the dot com bubble. Like, I could barely afford vodka. I was right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> very poor. True. Yes. True. Not even brunettes. We had granite vodka. Uh, it was on the bottom right. shelf of, I was in New Hampshire, the bottom shelf, and it tasted like antifreeze. It was like $3 for like a jug of it. Yeah. Oh, it was the worst. Sick. Oh, we, it was awful. We did Kamchatka and Dark Eyes yeah. vodka. Nice. When we were drinking. Nice. Yeah. That was the... Burnett's was ours. Burnett's was, oh, Burnett's Burnett's was like a classy. Like, was, we had uh, Burnett's. Yeah, Burnett's yeah. peach, Burnett's, yeah, peach, a lot of peach Burnett's. Tough. Tough times. Um, I wanted to bring up that, kind of like that eagle that was just almost murdered by that octopus. I had a very similar experience myself this weekend. Ah. With a jellyfish. What happened? Well. Where were you up? Were you in the tropics? Uh, you would think that a jellyfish, a size that can wrap its tentacles all around your entire body, would be in a tropical area, but no. I was in some fucking river in Maryland, and uh, I jumped in the river. Nobody said anything about me. So, yeah, scroll past my drunk video. Don't, yeah, I'm drunk there. But Are keep... you drunk singing I'm a Survivor? Yes, I am. Okay, yeah. There's, there it is, it. there it is. I was stung. I was, oh I jumped gosh. in the thing. I was in there for five minutes and we, I must have jumped like directly on top of a fucking jellyfish because it wrapped its arms around my whole body. Like I, I've had to rip it off my body to get out of the I water. Know, I was screaming like... bloody murder. Damn. I've never like, I've never had this happen to me before. It lasted, it's completely gone now. It lasted for maybe 12 hours and then it went away. Yeah, Harness Creek in South River. For a second, I thought I thought your left titty was like Tico, Texas. Everybody's showing been up saying on that. page two. Everyone's like, it looks like your titty Six. there. I'm like, it's my it, clearly my hand, but yeah, okay. It? I mean, I'm just from this Through distance. My, no, I know, but what, what kind of bathing suit would that be with my with I get that, bathing but maybe suit with like my titty as well? I just wanted to say I saw Tico's titty on page six. Yeah, well, we all saw Tico's titty on page six, and all right. uh, you know, but regardless, yeah, what the fuck? What's that about? Yeah, These yeah, jellyfish. Jelly, I didn't know Maryland that they, jellyfish. It's called a, a bay nettle. I spent the rest of the day looking it was up, in a looking river? up jellyfish. jellyfish were in, the ocean. in a river. But so did I. So did I. I I jumped in there, no hesitation. I mean, yeah. I know. I know bull sharks bay go nettle. from salt water to fresh water and kind of swim up the, the stream. So maybe maybe bay nettles doing the same thing. Look at that shit. Look at this motherfucker. Can you believe? Like Can the, you believe? Like the jellyfish that Will Smith had an eight. Pounds. It was like That's it was legitimately like this, that like is, this long. Is, yes. It's a reference. Yeah, yeah, right, it's a right. reference. It was like this big. It was very bad, yes. This long. You just, you, you That's the size of the jellyfish. Did he live? Did the jellyfish live? The jellyfish. I thought you were sizing me up. Uh, for everyone on camera, jellyfish. shit. Oh, well, yeah, man, you know, we gotta, we, I don't have enough room in the camera for, <laughs> for all that. Well, that's anyway, yeah, the after it was a nightmare. Show. Yeah, it was a nightmare. That was it. I just wanted to talk about it. You got hurt. You got stung. Yep. What did you put? Did you pee on it? Did you put vinegar on no, it? No, put vinegar on it. That's the thing. They told me the uh, the captain, shout out to Captain Michael. He had a banana shirt on. We called him Captain Bananas all day. And he loved that. Wow. And, yeah, he definitely did. <laughs> yep. He definitely name. did. He definitely did. Captain I think he loved names. even more that the, the deckhand that was like helping him, who we all, I won't say his name because he got blacked out with us. I don't think he was supposed to. And uh, we later, our boat broke down, time of crisis. Poor Captain Michael Bananas was all on his own and we were all blacked out. And it was not great. Yeah. Not great. I'm sure Captain Bananas loved having mm -hmm. 12 mm -hmm. drunk Yep. Women on his boat. Yep. Women. Screaming. Adult, old women. Yeah, yeah screaming. Yeah. Captain Bananas! Yeah, it was tough. It was a tough weekend. But hey, at, at, at least you weren't. He gave me the vinegar, though. At least that you helped. weren't all on the boat shouting, Giovanni Bernard! <laughs> we basically were. What are the odds Captain Bananas put the uh, jellyfish in the, in the river? He might have. Oh. He might have put them all in the river. Yeah, it's like, well, he first came Something up and he was like, up. Oh, we parked here because I looked and there weren't any jellies. And then when I got out of the river, I looked back in, there was like a hundred fucking jellies. Like, we, we, like, Dropped anchor in the middle of a jellyfish forest, basically. I specifically mm. looked to see if there were yeah. jellyfish. He, he did. There's he never that. any jellyfish yeah. here that I've raised. My friend birth. goes. My friend was like, "Oh, like are there other like are there other animals around here that we should be worried about in the water?" And he's like, "Well, there's an entire ecosystem of animals in this river." And we were like, "All right, Captain Bananas, you can suck my dick." Yeah. <laughs> like, right. it's ridiculous. So yeah. So he's not all that great. All right, all right Miss Frizzle, we're not here for a fucking <laughs> field trip. We're here to fucking. I mean, we didn't feel that bad being so drunk because he was a dick when we asked about the yeah. jellyfish. So whatever. who's better, Captain Bananas or Deshaun? Uh, Ooh. Captain, oh, Captain Bananas. Right. I'll, I'll take Captain Bananas all day long. He had fun. He had fun. He put he a hat on at one point. Spiral, though, no, yeah. No, he definitely <laughs> can't. Have your football team, though, right? He definitely doesn't make 250 million, that's for sure. Sean Watson has the same nickname, yeah. Captain Bananas. Yeah. <laughs> all right. That's good. Thank yeah. you. All right, that's the rundown. Yeah. Giovanni Bernard.